Hi guys. Well, welcome back. We're, today we're going to be doing our um, our under the water kind of feel. We're going to be doing our jellyfish. And once again, we're going to remind everybody, uh, do not drink the paint water. It tastes awful. All right. So we're going to go. I did this on a tall and skinny. This is a 10 by 20. Um, so you could do this on any size that you have. If you have just paper you're working with. Um, so it doesn't have to be this size. This just allows it to be nice and long and be very centered on our uh, little jellyfish. All right, so we're gonna go nice and easy, and nice and relaxed. I apologize because it is super gloomy out. And so our lighting isn't exactly the most perfect for this, but we're gonna get through this. Um, I'm gonna try to set up a little studio space downstairs just so that the, we, I can arrange the lighting to, to be just perfect uh, for taping. All right. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna move this right on over. Make sure you have your cup of water. These are the paints we're gonna be using. White, blue, red, yellow, green, and black. All right, we got some music in the background. I'm gonna take the one underneath. So what we're gonna do is we need to do all of our background. We want it nice and dark because just like under the ocean, it's gonna be nice and dark down there. We're gonna be using uh, blues, reds, your black, and maybe a touch of your white. So I like these brushes. These are the brushes I will be using. Now it's all based off of what you feel comfortable when it comes to your brushes. So you don't have to use exactly what I'm using. The stiffer it is, this one will probably be my base brush for the background. It's going to give me lots of nice, beautiful strokes. Um, and it's going to give lots of nice texture. Okay, so the very first thing, we want the center to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go in just straight up with my blue. I'll just go right on in. We're just going to work from the inside on out. So what's going to happen is we're doing a base of the lighter color first because we're going to work on our outside and we're going to go darker and we're working our way in. And it's probably going to cover up most of this, but just as long as we've got a base of one color, you want to keep on moving around the brush. See, I've got no extra leftover. I have it re-dipped. This kind of gives you a nice little dry brush. It serves on the paint super handy okay so it doesn't have to be quite perfect um, I mean you could have done a lot less or a lot more so if I go in with blue and red and making just a little bit of that purple blue and red you just see you could go heavier on your red heavier in the blue and we're just working it right on in so this is why we went blue in that center. You can grab, it will help lighten it on out. And it doesn't have to be perfect purples all the way around. So it doesn't have to be the same exact purple you'll make. I like to creep it on in. This is on the darker side. So it's okay if it goes on the darker side. But if you have a spot you want to put it and you want it to be a little bit lighter, keep it on the lighter side. Now you could also use a much bigger brush. There's this size. Um, when Michael's was open, I loved these. If you ever watched, um, I did the play for my daughter's group. Um, we did, what was it? Uh, Susicle. And we painted almost the entire scenery with this particular brush. Um, it stays nice and stiff for you. You could draw nice straight lines, holds, holds a good amount of paint. It's also great for any background work. So it is a little bit bigger. 
show you the size difference. And it's just so that you can cover more surface area. Works the same way. Now you could also go into the super big, if you want like a three inch brush. It's like a regular painter's brush. So I'm moving it on in towards my blues. Just keep on going with my purples. I got to see my first jellyfish last year in Myrtle Beach. Uh, came really close to stepping on it. <laughs> you had washed ashore. Um, that's something I hear you shouldn't want to do. Okay, so we got pretty much our base colors with our purples. Now what we need to do next is we're gonna go in a little bit darker. So if you wanna swipe in, let's make a quick little, just so it's nice and blended. I don't have anything extra on my brush, just whatever's left over. Just so these guys can blend on now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now we get to go in with blue and our black. Just gonna make in my way right around my little circle, blue and black. A little black goes a long way. So if you go, if you feel like you go too heavy at any time, just wipe it off and go right back in. Or you can kind of dab in those areas and then go right back, work right on in. So it's blue and black. And once you kind of get the feel, you can always hit up a little bit darker, especially towards those bottoms. I always feel like the bottom of the ocean should be the darkest. I love all of these strokes. So um, occasionally when I do a party, people are like, oh, I have these strokes and they don't like them. I can see the brush marks. I love that. That's my favorite, favorite part. Um, so keep that. If you're not a fan, you could always use, I don't think I have one right here. Sponge brushes work really well. And I do have a few people that love the sponge brush. And once again, I wanna kinda of just blend these guys right in. I'm not going in with any extra paint. Just giving a quick little pull. You can even do this with a clean, dry brush. So it's just that little extra brightness here. And I go back and make it a little darker. And I like to turn the brush as I'm going. There is no actual direction when it comes to a lot of your backgrounds. You want it to be uh, flowy. You want to give that feel of flow, um, but there's no direction. Okay, you can kind of see it kind of gives it a little swoop, but there's no actual direction. I like to keep it, I'm going to keep it a little bit more purple up here. That is the fun. All right, so if you are doing this at home, this is a great time to go ahead and pause it, wait till it dries up. Um, I'm going to kind of jump ahead and show you guys how to do the actual um, jellyfish. I'll bring it back one more time. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little curve. And we're going to go ahead, fill in the bottom. All of these little guys are like the little tentacles, but we have to do these guys underneath first. Okay, so... Because mine is still wet, it's gonna pull some of the paint. Now, once yours dries, you don't have to go over as many times, but because mine is still wet, it will pull some of the blues and black and purple. Um, if you really, if you wanna push your time, this is just a dry brush. This is actually just a quick way to kind of pull any of that wet paint. As you can tell, I'm being really rough with it. And even helps blend it out even more. So you have your choice. Okay, so that was just a regular clean dry brush. And you can see how it did pick up some of my color. Afterwards, I'm just gonna throw it in my cup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in. Now you can use 
I like uh, my flat brushes. I use them quite often because it is, they are a little stiffer. They hold the paint very well and you get to draw like almost like a pencil. So I'm going to go in with just my white first. Use the size that you feel most comfortable with. We're going to go ahead, we're going to bring up. Now on my original, mine went a little bit further over to my right, which is, it's fine. It kind of looks like it almost goes off the canvas a little bit. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to go ahead. So if you want it to go off the canvas like the original, you're just pulling a little bit further over. All right. I'm going to flatten this out just a little bit up here. Okay. So towards the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead very gently, give a little gentle like a little wave all right so it kind of does anybody if you were to remember pac-man this is where like the pac-man the good little ghost um, that that's calling out my age right there all right so we have the base and then this right here would be the top and i'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of the bottom so this will be the back side this bottom one all right so you could go ahead and give that first round. I'm gonna start off going on my sides. So and I, I'll give it a little wave. You can even kind of do one of these if you, instead of doing the, the continuous wave. Okay, so this is just the very first. Don't overthink this. Okay, so this is the fun part. I love doing this. This is this size brush. Okay, so it's like a medium flat. I'm gonna go in with my white and my red. Now I could go a little heavier with my red first because it will pick up some of the blues and make it a little purple. And all I'm doing, just taking a little bit on my brush and just giving these little pulls coming all the way down. Now, if you want, you can do the whole grouping on the top and keep on working away. I kind of like to do a little bit of time and just kind of give that little feel out. So as you can see, it changes in your colors as you're going on down. And we're layering right over. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more of my white with it. All right. All right, so you could kind of get that feel and you want it to go over this back one. So this is the back up to where the top is. Now you may have it kind of spotting back out so it doesn't feel like it's too, uh, too much in one cylinder. Just give me a couple of pulls. Now you can go over as many times as you want. This naturally gives you a purple. If you want a little bit more of a purple, go grab a little bit of your blue with your red and white, especially if it's already dry. I'm just being nice and heavy, right, right over. I'll grab some more of my reds. This is probably, I love big, bold, abstract um, dropping of paint. I love it, it's a good feel. Okay, and you can turn, keep on turning the brush just like so you're using all of that paint just turn the brush, flip it on over, turn. All right, so we also have a little bit towards our top we're gonna to be doing. This is just like a little reflection, I'm guessing. Did a little bit of research on these little guys. Same thing, just these quick little, little pulls. All right, so we have the base for our um, our cute little jellyfish. I'm just going to go ahead and clean off my brush. Now, I usually have two glasses of water. Um, one is definitely not for drinking, either of them. But one is cleaner water and one is dirty water. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the brush. And now we get to go back in and we're going to be bringing in these little squiggly lines. So what happens if you do not let it sit? If you, if you want it to keep it, uh, let it dry up, 
Just go ahead and hit pause and come back whenever you're ready. Me, I'm gonna pull on forward. So I will naturally be dragging some of that color. And for me, that's okay. For some people, they're like, nope, not what I want. So what we're gonna do, take the skinny part of a flat brush. And I'm just gonna go with it. Nice and relaxed. So see how I pulled some of it? Not a biggie. Okay, I like to have this coming from the top. And they can come either way. You can go all the way down. You can have it stopping. Okay, so these are like those little tentacles. I'm pretty sure this is what will hurt you. Oh, just a couple of them pulling from the back. So I'm, see, I'm just stirring right in the bottom. Now I can always go back over and make these brighter as it starts to dry. Okay, I'm gonna clean off my brush. Now I can go on up here with my pinks and I'm just gonna go ahead and give a couple little, just quick little pulls. Now I don't have a whole lot of paint on. It's more like a little dry brush kind of feel. And the other colors, remember we had yellow and green. So if we do a little white and yellow. And naturally when yellow hits blue, it does make a green. It's almost like a... Now we can also do white and blue, making a very light blue. Or even an aqua kind of feel. I'm gonna go right back into my white. I need to go right on over just so I don't lose it. Okay, so you can kind of see how my white, my original white has kind of just blended on in. I'm just gonna go nice and heavy right into my white and hit right back over him. I'm making just these quick little, little pulls, but you could go ahead and make these straight lines whatever you feel comfortable with. I think I need a couple of these little guys, a little bit more. If you go in with a little bit of yellow with your red and white, it gives you this really cool color. I love this color. I think I should probably bring a little bit into that down below. All right, so we have the base going on for our colors. Now down here, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit either of the green or yellow. I'll show you with just a little bit of green. There's not very much on my brush. And I'm just kind of very gentle, not even going all the way straight through. Very gentle, just using the corner of the brush, giving a couple little drags. The green will be on the darker side, so if you if that's that's usually a safer color to start off with. And all it's going to give you is it give you a feel of movement. Here's a little bit of yellow. All right. So you can always go back up, do the colors that you wish. If you would like to have more purples in here or yellows, um, any of those colors. Now, when it is safe for me to do, I'm going to go ahead and clean off my brush really good. If you're doing this on the west side, while this dries, I should say after it dries, just hit up with your white and it will stand out just a little bit more for your tentacles. All right. So, and this is probably my favorite part of the whole thing. I love doing these little dots. Now, you could use the back side of your brush. You, you were not actually using the brush. If you have a brush that you prefer, as you could see, the bigger brushes have a bigger end. The smaller brushes have a little bit smaller end. And it's gonna be up to you which one you prefer. We're gonna go right into our white. I'm gonna go right along. One, two, three, four, five. Just giving these little taps. And I don't even have to go back in and do a whole, um, like refill it up. 
excuse me, what's on my brush. There's something about these little dots. It's so peaceful. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go right along. And then these guys are like little air bubbles. This one a little bit bigger. <coughs> Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. All right, so right on up here. So wherever you feel like you need a couple little bubbles or these little continuing lines just for movement, pop some in there. Now, I do like them away from it. Um, you could say you have more room up on the top. You can go ahead and do a couple little bubbles. If you want a bigger one, just take it more. I think I need a couple over here. All right, so after that, you are pretty much all set. So you could go ahead, uh, take a picture, look it over, uh, feel it out, whatever you feel like you need to do. If you wanna bring in some highlights. And thank you guys for painting with me. Hopefully we'll see you next time. And I hope you all have a great weekend.